Hello, in this video I would like to show you how you can use PowerShell in order to recover the mindset of a deleted user. I encourage you to read the KB article related to OneDrive for Business Retention and Deletion to understand also the exceptions and get more details about the process. As a side note, all articles mentioned or comments that we will perform now you can find in the description of the video. The default process, in case a user is deleted in the Azure ID, is that the ownership is transferred by default to his manager or in the absence of a manager to a secondary owner if this is enabled on the tenant. And we can check that under SharePoint Admin Center, going to User Profiles, My Site Settings and Set Up My Sites. In here you will find the field for the My Site Cleanup where you can set the secondary owner. So the manager or secondary owner will have access to the user's OneDrive site after the deletion for 30 days. What I also need to mention is that adding a secondary owner in here will reflect only on the users that you will create from this point on. This account will not be set as secondary owner on the already existing users. And let us check this by going into Manage User Profiles. And I will look for one of my existing users. If now I choose to manage the site collection owners, you will see that only the user is set as owner. So if I want to add a secondary owner on this user, I can do it from here or through PowerShell as I will soon show you. If we go now to the Office Admin Center under Deleted Users, you will see I have here a user that was deleted. And as I know I had admin access on his site, if I paste his my site URL in the browser, I will be able to access it. But then I also know I deleted another user, so I try to access his my site now as well. I will paste his my site URL. And this is a different user than the one I used before. But as you can see, it tells me the page cannot be found. Because after the before mentioned 30 days, the personal site is sent to the site collections recycle bin and is retained there for 30 more days, but it isn't listed in the user interface. However, you will be able to find it through PowerShell. So I open PowerShell and let's see if we can find the user's my site in the recycle bin. First, we need to connect to the online service by using the connect SPO service commandlet. So I will log in with my admin account and in order to see what my sites we have in the recycle bin we need to run the get spo deleted site commandlet with the include only personal site parameter to see only the my site. And as this is the user I am interested in, I will restore his my site from the recycle bin now. So I will copy his URL and then I will add it to the restore commandlet. Restore SPO deleted site identity and the copied URL. Once completed, if we go then again to the browser, I will now just reload the page. The my site is found and I can access it, as you can see. In case you are not set as an admin for the my site, you will be getting an access denied error message like this one. Then. What you need to do is to give yourself the permissions through PowerShell using this commandlet where you specify the my site URL and your account to be set as admin. And I got an error. Ah, and it is because I spelled the user's account wrong. So let's fix that. And now it runs successfully. So let's try to access the site again. And I do have access now. So these were the steps to perform through PowerShell in order to restore a user's my site that is already in the recycle bin. 
I hope it helps and thank you for watching.